Greetings, my friends. We've got Vosteed, or Vosteed, how do you want to pronounce it, in the house. Uh, these knives are interesting. They're making, I mean, they just kind of came out of nowhere, and then all of a sudden, they're, they're getting a lot of attention, and they're making some interesting designs, and actually, I'm pretty enamored with what I've been seeing. The Thunderbird came out and sold out quick, and there will be more coming. That's got S35VN, kind of a G-Mascus uh, scales and stuff, and it's a button lock, I believe, and it's way cool looking. Okay, and it's a full-size knife. This one's a Labrador, and that's a full-size knife as well. And then you got the Raccoon. You got the Bellamy. I mean, this is the Bellamy here. The Raccoon button lock here. I like the Raccoon. I like the Raccoon. And then the Valkyrie, another button lock that has not only this shaped blade, but a CX a shaped blade and you can check that out on their site i'll give you the link to it but okay so you got that and then of course they've revised the nightshade and now instead of thumb studs and a flipper tab it's like this so this is all different as well 154 cm steel as well so, and I haven't, I haven't had this one apart. Um, and I haven't had the Labrador apart either. So we'll see how that all goes. And let's get my buddies off of here. I've been using this one a bunch, the Raccoon. You like that? I mean, I just like that, that design and right and left hand, you know, all that uh, carry. But this one... Looks like it's right hand only, no left hand option, but really nice ergos, palm swell, all that. Uh, you know, you've got contoured green micarta scales on here. And this is 154 CM, says Labrador. It's not billboarded up necessarily. It does say Vosteed over here, but it's not splashed across the blade too much. And this is a front flipper top flipper okay so and really the detent mm, it's fairly light and i guess you probably need to do that i mean you know it's not you know coming out like that but yeah you hit it good enough so i think that's about where i've seen a lot of front flippers at as far as detent goes. So I, I, I don't rate that as too soft. Um, and then, of course, good Lord. I mean, ambidextrous thumb studs. So you can flip it that way. Top flipper, front flipper. I mean, I mean you get a dolphin in the package, so you get flipper, flipper. <laughs> they call him flipper. So, um, you know, fidget friendly, yes. And liner lock. So this is not a button lock. I think that's okay. That's fine as far as I'm concerned. Looks like the lockup is, what, 40%? 50? I mean, that's jimping here. Um, obviously nested liners in here. Okay. Yeah, take a little peek in there. We'll take it apart, but... Yeah, it looks like uh, we've got uh, skeletonized liners, so they're weight relieving on that behalf. But you know what? You're probably wondering, well, how does it stack up size-wise? And look at the look at the Bellamy. It's definitely bigger than the Bellamy, and the Bellamy is really pretty much a full-size knife. So, what is this? I mean, this got to be three and three quarter. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's three and three quarter inch. So 96, 97 millimeter blade length and oh, eight point, really close to 8.75 inches overall length at 22 centimeters. Okay. Well, that's probably the biggest one that I've had my hands on. It's definitely bigger than the raccoon. You know, even though this is, that's a full-size knife there. But this one, 
is approaching nine inches overall length, but it's not that heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. Of course, you got nested liners. It's not like just, and probably doesn't have four millimeter blade stock either. Yeah, it's under 100 grams, 97.8 grams. That's, that's pretty light. Yeah, there you go, 3.45 ounces. So three and a half ounces, uh, like I said, ergos are great. And you can jump up here as well in that choil for fine work and like that and whatever. And you got jimping there. And maybe you got a piece of paper. If you got a piece of paper, maybe you can cut it. Mm, let me think. Okay. That's, that's a good, decent factory edge there. I wouldn't say scary sharp. But that that's a good solid factory edge. Yeah, there's there's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, let me take a look. The plunge looks symmetrical. The fit and finish seems fine on these. I'm not really coming up with edginess or unfinished feel or anything. Deep carry on the pocket clip with you know tapered screws. I mean they're they're flat. And who's on the, uh, oh, they got their little, yeah, logo on the pocket clip. You know, the box is another consideration. Uh, and maybe not to you, and maybe you don't care. And that's okay. I mean, I don't, doesn't bother me either. But yeah, I just thought it was kind of unique that they're a metal box. And so, I mean, structural integrity there. And then you get a zipper pouch on top of that. And we're talking a budget knife here. And then, you know, it comes in the plastic. But then also, and I think a lot of guys like when they throw extra little gear stuff. I mean, so if you have one of those, um, I mean, I was seeing that uh, one of the companies had a, a big knife roll that is out and it had a place be able to stick these pouches, I mean, these patches on with the Velcro and stuff. So you could have like a connect collection of, of Velcro patches sticking on it as like a headliner thing. And then, of course, here's your information on the specific knife, which is nice. Okay. And they're saying 3.75 inch blade, blah, 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 all of that. Okay. And then this for support. Okay. You know, I'm, I need, I need help. I'm falling. I can't get up. Okay, and uh, da. My dog ate my knife. Can I get it replaced? And then, uh, yeah. Then you microfiber it. So there you go. Um, so I, 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 there's a pretty good bunch of stuff in there. I, I reckon. I guess. I guess. I reckon. Um. And, you know, these knives are right around the uh, $75, $85 range. So they're, they're, they're there. I mean, but they're there with most others in their, in their group. So, um, especially with the 154 CM. So you're not talking about D2, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, and we will take it apart. I believe we're talking ceramic detent ball, ceramic bearings. That's definitely droppy and fidgety. You see what I'm saying? Wow. Uh, kick it open here. And you know, this is another case of uh, a knife being maybe get approaching the maximum length you should have if you got a front flipper. Can you imagine a knife that's 10 inches long when it's open overall length having a front flipper? I mean, you just have to climb up the blade. Then you got an awkward grip and stuff. I think this is about the maximum I would want to have with a front flipper. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they could have skipped it and just kept this. Because you can hang back here. Okay, you can hang back here. You can kind of just intuitively grab the knife and hang back here. And kick it open, right? You don't have to start climbing up so you can, you know, do this, right? And then you've got a, a more precarious, 
grip on the knife than if you've got it like this because then you got your thumb you got everything from both sides you know holding on to it. it it's definitely a firmer grip i think don't you i mean then then kind of just cupping it up against your palm so you can kick it out you know what i'm saying so yeah i mean they i, I think they could have skipped this and i'd have been fine i'd have been fine with it i do like the overall design I mean, I think this is a nice, simple design. It's effective, and the blade shape is a nice flat grind, very usable for piercing, slicing, relatively lightweight, definitely full size. Uh, the thumb studs are far enough back to give you a lot of good cutting, you know, area, because the sharpened part of the blade really pretty much ends right there where that thumb stud is so that to me that's good and you got jimping not only on the flipper tab which is relatively subdued it's not it's not a sale right and here not bad so i mean all in all and it's centered there's no blade player lock rock any of that okay now it's an open design there's no a backspacer or anything okay but that keeps it light too right bank so let's take a look when we take this apart and see if we got a captured pivot in here because we only got one way in okay all right so we got to go backside and that's easy so that's not a problem to get that disengaged and that little surround may come out or may not and whatever okay now I, we're going to number six on the body screws so it's not like they got number eights now send cut civivi it looks like you know uh cansap kubi kaiser on on most of their stuff are going with number number eight body screws as well so that might be something that would be what they should look into doing um it makes it easier you don't have to have a number six and number sixes are more prone to you know stripping out the interior of the screw and this and that and i don't think i gotta take that pocket clip off to get this apart so what did i do or not do oh just didn't pull hard enough i guess okay um there's those screws they're staying in there and that's fine i don't care there's a pocket clip screws there uh they're in there and they just hold on to the liner uh steel liner ceramic detent ball so there's your lock side and here's your ceramic uh bearings which yeah i think you need to have that and the 154 cm steel if you're gonna be at the 80 some dollar price point yeah okay um and reasonably decent fit and finish and then i just threw the pivot on the floor do we need one i guess so and let me look back in here okay but obviously captured pivot because we got a flat right here and now I pick up the pivot, we can see. Get that pivot up off the floor. And yeah, there's your little surround. And yes, it's a captured pivot. So we're in good shape. I mean, they're, they're, they're not missing any of the steps that I would expect them to have uh, present. So, I mean... The liners are skeletonized. I mean, ceramic bearings, captured pivot, micarta is there, 154 cm. I mean, it's lightweight, fit and finish is pretty decent. We're good. Oh, it's uh, it's definitely uh, drop shutty, that's for sure. But it's there's no play or anything. It's locked up. Yeah, it's just whew, guillotine ish. And the Labrador. 
Let's see uh, where they go from here. I mean, they've already put out some interesting models with the Raccoon, the Bellamy, you know, and the uh, Nightshade, of course, over there, the Valkyrie, Button Lock, uh, quite, the, quite the grouping already. So, and the Thunderbird... Coming out, for those of you who missed out on getting one, which was me included, off we go. Let's uh, see what happens. Looks pretty fascinating. We do love them knives. You guys, stay sharp.